So I'm going to play a song for you. Let me go ahead and clarify. I have a COVID mask voice. I, I don't have COVID. So <clears throat> these masks have been a little drying out. So <laughs> two apologies, one for my voice, the other because I play infrequently and so I don't have calluses on my hand. But I heard John Denver's The Soul Guitar lately and it was one of the ones I used to love to play. I do recall Mark Ship teaching us how to play guitar in Brazil at camp. We used to play John Denver, James Taylor, Three Dog Night, and it was my honor to work with Livingston Taylor, uh, James Taylor's brother. You know, we weren't friends, but he was very kind. Whenever he'd come and play, he complimented Harry, the producer, a lot, and, and I was surprised that he remembered me, but he was very kind, as was his, his wife. And, Anyway, I recall when John Denver died, I was working at EG&G, one of my, well, all of my jobs, I think have had favorite parts to it, but Edgerton, Germishausen and Greer, Doc Edgerton was the father of high speed photography. I think I've said this in some other videos, but one of the fascinating things about that company was um, We collaborated with GE at the time to develop the first digital x-ray. And I recall working in the admin department before I got moved into the accounting department, I, I was just crushed to hear that John Denver had passed away. Anyway, it wasn't too long after that or around that time, I happened to be, we would rotate. I was working at the, at, at the reception desk. These were the headquarters. And uh, a young woman came in. Her last name was uh, Swope. And I said, hey, that is my paternal grandmother's last name. And uh, so we talked about some people that we thought we might be related to. And she said, um, somewhere back in the line, John Denver's related to us. So I thought that was really interesting. So, but I'm going to dedicate this song one of my favorite speakers is Dr. Leo Buscalia. And one of the things he says is when people come up to him and they say, we're big fans, he says, I don't want fans, I want friends. Well, I feel the same way. It's not just that I want friends, I wanna be that friend. So I hope that you hear from this song that you're loved, that um, like James Taylor says, you have a friend. My very first guitar, John tells the story about how he got his first guitar from his grandmother. My first guitar was a Del Vecchio. It was given to me in Brazil. I don't recall who gave it to me and I played it until it, it busted. It was, so, it was either in the, uh, the attic or some, it was too hot and it busted. And I didn't play for years later until John's mom gave me her guitar and she had inherited it. I don't recall who gave it to her. I, I think it was a Gibson, I'm not really sure. I All I knew is if it made a good sound, I liked playing it. Um, anyway, lost that one not long ago, and this one's an Austin guitar. I, please understand the love is there. <laughs> Although, I sound worse than a beginner, <laughs> so, Playing the guitar is one of the things that always has comforted me, and I hope that, that you enjoy this. <clears throat> the other thing is, I know very, very basic notes, and there are a few notes that are missing here, so I am kind of glossing over it. Thank you in advance for, for watching this, and anyway, this is for you. Thank you. 
Anyway, thank you for taking your time to watch this. Have a lovely evening.